Louis, hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming. He's here. I can. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with all this so easily. I implore you. I'm sorry, Uncle, but I've decided to follow Father. But how can you trust him? He's my father, and there's so much he has to show me. I'm not responsible for what happened to you. That's your business, the two of you. You are just as mad as he is, Louis. You'll end up just like him. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? You should have chosen your allies better, my son. You mean you plan to get rid of him since the beginning? For years, Louis. Come now. Would I really have risked everything at such a one-sided conference without having a trump card up my sleeve? But... but what about the conference rules? To hell with the rules. From now on, I'm only following my own rules. Things are going to change, you'll see. However, I expect you to stop your childish games and follow me. I gave you time to find your feet with Gregory, but things are going to get serious now, and I expect a little more loyalty from you. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. B what happened in the ether? I surpassed him. What do you mean you surpassed him? I made sure he was poisoned by my blood before our little chat. Remember the cup of tea in the dining room? I wagered that Gregory simply wouldn't be able to let it get cold. Old habits do die hard. You put your blood in your tea? And he put the hangman's rope round his own neck. Ironic, isn't it? Unable to extract himself from his physical body, 
It didn't take much time for me to absorb him. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. I did well not to follow home, didn't I? Come on, let's get it over with and join Mortimer in the dining room. Now's the time to join Mortimer. I won't be able to go back after... Here we go. Ah! There you are at last. Excuse me, I... Sir Gregory's death... Must have upset your plans. Yes, I should think so. Given that you gave him your allegiance. But I did warn you to choose sides carefully. But you didn't tell me you were planning to kill him, you snake. You wish to speak to me? Yes. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As for the door of my crypt, no one had ever found out how to open it before you. You succeeded in telling the Hillsborough twins apart. Even for me, that wasn't an easy thing to do at first. What an unpleasant surprise it was when I found out that you had tried to warn the Purple States against Gregory and me. Did you really think you could succeed? Damn it. He found out about that. But the important thing is that you escaped the worst with Volner, because he could have killed you when you were in the guise of Piaget. Yes, it was a bit touch and go. Which leads me to a chat about what I envisage for you now. You are the chosen one, Louis. The one I've been waiting for all this time. Thank you, I... We are going to be able to become one. Hmm, I, I don't quite follow you. Be proud of yourself, son, for you are the one I have chosen to be my next mortal coil. I... I... but... what about me? Am I imagining things, or did he just tell me to my face that he's going to eat me? Unfortunately, no, you won't survive the transfer. But I want you to know that I only select my bodies from my own children, and that you are the one who has impressed me most. It's far from being my first time, as you can imagine. I didn't think it was possible to find a more promising son than dear Augustus. You can be very proud of yourself. W wait a second, hang on. Do you realize what you're saying? Are you insane? Oh, come, come, my son. Let's not end everything on a bad note, please. Son of a bitch. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I won't let you do it. What on earth are you thinking? That you'll be able to kill me? This is ridiculous, Louis. Come now, be reasonable. Don't fight. I won. Von Volner tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal, 
as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess, through her relationship with the Crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links to the United States, on both the diplomatic and the commercial fronts. She became inseparable from the Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England, and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. Sarah de Richet threw herself from the Pont des Arts into the River Seine before a crowd of dumbfounded bystanders just a few days after her son's return to Paris. He spoke of his aging mother's recent depression and took over the running of the Golden Order, whose expansion was rapid. On his return to Paris, Peru gave himself up to his peers of the revolutionary courts. He admitted to being implicated in several state corruption cases. Found guilty of treason toward the Republic, he was executed without a trial. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer, his sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months.